Hey everyone, Stones here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. Thanks for rolling with me. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've posted a new video. I've recorded several new videos. Just didn't get around to posting them. Just wasn't happy with the content. I wasn't happy with the direction. I've been doing this for about a year now. Really haven't made any improvements. Kind of been doing the same thing uh, the whole time. And I kind of want to take a new direction with my channel. But it's going to take some effort. I don't know when that's going to happen. But my thinking is why keep on recording videos in the same vein if that's not even the type of channel that I want to have eventually. If I'm going to delete those videos because they don't fit the format of my channel, why record them, I guess. So, But um, I had a great weekend at yard sales and garage sales and I had to show this stuff off. I had to get this on video because I can't believe what I had found. Um, I haven't had one of these moments yet this year. Last year, I had several of them. But this year, even though I found some good stuff, I've found, found some great stuff, I just haven't had a what I call a grail haul. It's where everything's just amazing and where I sit back and I got excited and I can't believe that I found this stuff. I can't believe the stuff that I've learned, st new stuff that I've never found before, the prices that I paid. Everything about this weekend was great, so I kind of want to share this. Uh, I want to show this off and, and get it in a video. So starting off on Thursday, I went to a garage sale, and uh, this garage sale underneath one of the tables was this bin. And on the bin was a sign that said everything in the bin was 50 cents to $2, but nothing was specifically marked. Now, I didn't take the bin with me. We're going to get to that in a little bit here. But I did pick up all this stuff for $30, and the guy was not holding back on the prices. He charged me that $2 price on everything. So I paid $3 or $30 for everything, two bucks a piece. Again, he was not giving me that dollar price or that 50 cent price, even though the, the tub said 50 cents to $2. But I was okay with that because this is some good stuff. I have some of the original 1970 Star Wars here. Um, so any two of these could be worth $30 easily. So C-3PO, Han Solo, Chewbacca, uh, one of the Tuscan guys, uh, of course, uh, Han Luke Skywalker, sorry, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, um, all with their lightsabers, all with the little extra knob on the end, which normally falls off or breaks off if they even have those uh, lightsabers to begin with. Again, one of these figures could be $30, let alone two of them. Uh, Species 2 action figure, no big deal there. Some of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, looks like we're missing Leonardo here, but uh, we've got Raphael, Michelangelo, Michelangelo, Donatello. These are the ones, the original ones from the 80s. And these are also the soft head ones. So as you can see here, I can squeeze in the heads. These are the more valuable ones. I didn't know that they made two different versions, but they also made ones with like a solid head, like one that is solid plastic. But these are the rubber head or the soft head ones that are worth a little bit more money. Uh, some X-Files action figures. We got Skull, uh, Mulder and Scully, um, along with an alien on a, on a gurney here. We got Leatherface. This is a Todd McFarlane action figure. Um, there's a turtle's vehicle. Uh, this is Jabba the Hutt's uh, platform uh, that you sit Jabba the Hutt on. It was the thing that kind of carried him around. Um, it's missing a few pieces. It alone is worth 20 bucks. So, um, but we'll come back in a little bit of why I have this container and what happened later on. Um, so Friday I went to a church rummage sale. This church rummage sale was just hosting the rummage sale. And everything was being sold to raise money for our high school's marching band, so the band boosters. Um, I went to this one last year, um, and if you follow me on Instagram or follow any of my videos, one of the things that I picked up last year was a uh, vintage wool baseball hat that supposedly it is a genuine hat from one of the professional Negro Leagues from the 40s and 50s. Now, I'm still trying to get a confirmation on that. I'm still trying to get someone to validate that that's what it is, and who knows what it might be worth. So, 
Um, I did pick up a lot of things from this church rummage sale. I spent $50 total. Not everything is here. I picked up some books that have already sold, some other DVDs that have already sold, um, but not everything is here. So I picked up, here's some of the other stuff. So first of all, I picked up this Disney uh, Possible Dreams. This is Department 56. Now, one of the volunteers pointed it out to me after I had bought this statue. This is actually a music box. It's uh, what? It's um, Sleeping Beauty. And uh, there's a little turnkey on the side here, and it plays music. Now this, I paid $15. I left that sticker on there on purpose. Um, now the only one that I can find listed on eBay, their music box doesn't work. And they have it listed for $100 plus shipping. Uh, the music box on this one does work. So I'm going to try to list it for maybe $125, $150. Um, but again, when I when I got this, the one of the volunteers pointed out this. Now, this is Department 56. It is a name brand that does in decorations, holiday decorations, uh, mostly um, Halloween and Christmas. The Halloween stuff does better than Christmas, and that's just a general rule for anything. But I didn't realize this was Department uh, 56. This is brand new in the box. Someone did write all over the box. But when I look up Disney Department 56 Possible Dreams, all I can find is Mickey Mouse stuff. If I look up Disney Princess Department 56, the only thing that I can find is a Snow White decoration. This is Cinderella. It's a tree topper. So I took a guess on this, and I listed it for $100, free shipping, and I've already got two followers on it, and it's only been listed for about a day. Um... Again, I picked up this music box, again, $125 to $150. Uh, I picked up a bunch of Monster High DVDs, and I already sold those for $30, and those are already being shipped. But another DVD that I picked up was this. All the DVDs were $0.50 cents a piece. All the books were $0.50 cents a piece. I pick up anything Power Rangers. Now, I'm a big fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which was the, the original series. And I'm a big fan of the second series, which was uh, Lost Galaxy. So anything else I'm not familiar with, I'm not the biggest fan of. So I, normally I don't pick it up unless it's cheap. I picked this up for 50 cents and I was shocked when I looked up to see what this is worth. This is out of print and it's rare. Um, it has a low run. This is the complete season of Super Mega Force Power Rangers. The last one sold in used condition for $70. Uh, copies in brand new condition have sold as much as $90, but currently there are no active list listings for this. You cannot get it on eBay. So again, my rule is if I have the only one, I push the boundary a little bit, I raise the bar. So I'm, I have this listed at the same price as if it were new. So I'm asking $90 on this. And I've already got watchers on it. So uh, I picked this up at another yard sale for 5 bucks. This is for a Nintendo Switch. Um, I actually picked up a Nintendo Switch, uh, the first one I've ever bought, for $15. And that was about a month ago. Um, it works. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to sell it. So... Um, and then on Friday, I went to a yard sale. Um, it was back in a community which I normally avoid, especially their community sales, because it's one of those HOAs where you don't find anything but baby stuff and toddler stuff and home decorations and stuff. But this HOA already had their community sale about two or three weeks ago. I didn't really go to it. But then someone in that community had a sign out saying that they were having a garage sale and I was passing it, and I almost didn't go. Um, but then I decided, I, well, let me go check it out. And I'm really, really glad that I did. So I feel bad for this lady because she kept on mentioning how she had just lost her husband. And every time you would talk to her about something, she would say that her, it was her husband. So first thing that I picked up was this Dr. Seuss book. It was originally 50 cents, but I rounded it up to a dollar because I didn't have change on me. Now, this book is a hardcover book, and it contains 12 Dr. Seuss stories Two of them are the discontinued stories um, that, that are out of print now, that the publisher decided that they're no longer going to print because they're politically incorrect or whatever. This book is worth about $30 or $40. Um, I, again, I have the only one, so I raised the price 
to $50, and we'll see what I can get for it. Uh, picked up this Nintendo 3DS for $10. I've never seen a 3DS. I've never held one. I've sold multiple DS Nintendos, but I've never had a 3DS. Picked this up for $10, worth at least $100 without any games at all. Didn't come with a charger. I already had a charger. Uh, thankfully, it works. It's perfect perfect condition, very clean, maybe with some games, maybe I can get more like $125 for it. Um, I almost left um, after I bought everything else, and there was a, a plastic bin filled with hats that wasn't open, like you could barely tell what it was. When I noticed that it was hats, I um, asked her how much, she said a buck a piece. A lot of vintage hats here, a lot of new era hats, a lot of new with tags, um, tag hats, brand new hats, a lot of sports hats, that type of thing. The, the best ones that I found was this Bruce Springsteen hat, currently not on eBay, but the last ones that have sold, uh, for as much as $50 plus shipping, um, and as low as $20 plus shipping. But since I have the only one, I'm going to go for that $50 price. The corduroy hats always do well. The football hats, the corduroy hats, this is probably another $50 hat. And then this one right here is probably another one that's worth a lot of money. Um, the only ones that I could find on eBay were hot pink, fluorescent pink, and those sold for 40 bucks. Uh, I currently, I have the only one hot pink or hot yellow. Um, so I'm going to list this maybe for 50 bucks. Um, I paid $30 for everything. So that's just something to take note of. Um, these are ink cartridges for a professional printer. Uh, she didn't have a price on these. I asked her about them. She actually had stuff stacked on top of these and I asked her how much she wanted and she said if you want them they're there there's they're there they are there uh yours for free I couldn't even say that they are yours for free so she gave them to me um so because she said they closed their business when the when her husband passed away um this was part of the printer that they were renting the place they were renting the printer from took the printer away but didn't want the cartridges so she said as long as i can do something with them i could take them so these mp6054 there's two of them these are worth about 40 bucks a piece i'm probably going to list these together these two back here is the waste toner bottle this is i guess what collects the toner the excess toner um, because toner is, is is a powder it's not an ink um, these are worth about 10 15 bucks a piece but the best part are these um the the separate colors so that your your typical three separate colors and black so the blue the yellow the pink and the black i have all these listed for 300 dollars plus shipping so 325 or so um all for free okay and then before i get back to this tub really quickly here i got this banner at a yard sale on saturday the guy had it hanging on his garage he said everything was for sale I asked him if the banner was for sale. He said yes, 20 bucks. The last one sold on eBay for $150 plus shipping. I've listed mine for $250 because there's no others listed on eBay. This was a movie theater one, official um, banner, very rare. I'm a big Terminator 2 fan. I almost kept this, but I don't have anywhere to, to, to put it. Getting back to this bin. So I went back on Saturday, meant to go back on Friday, but I forgot because I noticed that some of these guys were missing accessories and I knew there was a bunch of extra accessories in this bin. Like here, Donatello is holding one of Raphael's size and obviously there's two size. Um, Michelangelo is holding one dagger, dagger, but there's supposed to be two daggers. Uh, so I went back to look and I found some of these accessories. This actually goes to Leatherhead. Um, these go to Leatherhead as well. This is an extra head for um, this action figure. And the accessories I was looking for for the turtles. So these. Well, when I brought him up to him, thinking he would just give them to me when, when I explained to him that I already bought the figures and that he would remember, he started adding up prices like he was going to charge me again. Well, then he said, well, you can take the rest of the bin just for five bucks. And I said, well, okay. Kind of upset that he was charging me again. Got home with the stuff, found these in there. I didn't know what these are. They looked familiar. Now, this is stuff that I wasn't interested in. It just came in the bin. These are Boglins from 1980s. Right now, these are so rare 
Right now, people have just the cages listed for 100, just the figures for 100. There's only one person, one listing, that has the cage and the figure listed for $150. I have the chains, which are extremely rare. I'm guessing there's $300 here easily from $5 purchase. There you go. I'm out of earnings.